Is he laying in a bed and it's called Why Do You Love? It's a special clip. Okay. This is his his song, right? Like he wrote the, like the, he wrote this. It's a new side of I've talked about this multiple times now, but hi, Christine's, hi, Atini's, hello. Um, I, yes, I am back, and I'm somewhat still here from 80s towards the light. I have seen the light, and his name is Kim Hongjoong. Hongjoong has said, Hongjoong. <laughs> Hong Jung at send off literally sent me to the moon. Like he he laughed at me. He smiled. He recognized that I made a jersey. Basically, I have the clip on my TikTok. I don't remember if I uploaded this one to my YouTube. But basically, he if you haven't seen, he first was the first to ask what is this when I presented him my jersey. And I told him I wanted him to sign the sleeve like a captain band. And then he appreciate I can tell he was so appreciative and uh, he spoke back to me in Korean. And uh, he, uh, as I was shaking like a scared little nervous chihuahua, he smiled at me. Anyway, um, Hongjoong is the reason why I exist. Why do you love? If he, if this is a ballad, okay, I'm going to predict, per predict this is a ballad. This has to be a ballad. Why do you love? Why do you love Hong Jung? Well, first of all, he's the captain. Second of all, his, like, he's just so fucking handsome. Third of all, he is a producer extraordinaire. <laughs> Fourth of all, his rap. Sixth of all, everything he is my bias he is like I, okay okay i know i okay hongjoong is very special there's literally no one like hongjoong like the korean lyrics are on the description wait what you mean captions wait what what <gasps> hi mir He dropped this out of nowhere. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a okay, you know, it's fine. Why do you love? I love I love Hong Jung because you're Hong Jung and you're one of a kind. There's no one like you. He is Hong Jung is so you can just I you know like what I noticed is that I as soon as I met him and I talked to him, I noticed I really understood why he was the leader the captain of 80s like he has this this not just a star quality all of the members of 80s have a star quality but hong jung has this like i think in order to be a really good leader there is this really charismatic and empathetic quality like a good leader and and it's someone that can really empathize with whoever they're talking to. I felt very seen by Hong Jung. Like I felt like like he appreciated every 18 -y. And what he said during his Met in DC, literally, that's the that's the moment at, during Towards the Light that I absolutely sobbed my eyes out. Like um, I don't know if I've cried that much during a concert until Hong Jung said what he said um, in DC. And kind of recognizing like how hard it is to love someone, and and how you know loving someone um, because like like you, especially like kind of falling in falling in love like in, in in the sense of a relationship, it's 
like lust is a different thing than love and the, and having a true love for someone and not just not just like a partner having a true love for someone is difficult because there are personal sacrifices that you inevitably make and hong jung anyway i'm just like i can literally go on and on because hong jung is that special to all of us and yeah he's such a beautiful soul i know Um, my non ATE concert buddies realized Hong Jun was a leader without me having to tell them. Oh, yeah, no, like, oh, yeah, you went with um, people that weren't um, ATE. Did they love it? You know what I noticed? Um, uh, oh, my captions were in Korean. What the heck? We, what I noticed is that uh, <laughs> this past, obviously, like, I've been to uh, the concert before, this one, Break the Wall, but, and, Wait, I've been to three different ones now. Holy shit. Anyway, I've noticed that especially with Towards the Light, it is, it's unlike any other concert. Not just like, uh, even uh, among 80s concerts, Towards the Light was so different and so uh, amazing. Is doesn't do it justice. But the concert itself was insanely, like, it, it was just impressive like they they're acting like everything <gasps> my sister's here hello girl i will save to watch this on my own oh have a good stream i love when oh i know her girl <sighs> it's just like this this past concert like people uh i've i've seen people on uh, social and uh, just talking about the concerts they've been to and even if you're not like a dietini i feel like people put this one up there if not the best concert and i've said this but i understand that i'm also 18 -y, but this concert just i was so blown away by this concert honestly honestly it's just it's it, it's it's not like any other concert i've ever seen in my life and 80s just does things differently and 80s does things like their way and uh, and trust me i love my groups and i'm not trying to compare to groups i'm just saying as 80s i'm like wow like this is what you show of who you are as 80s you know they really showed themselves i really feel like especially now i really it's a it's a turning point for 80s like they really i think the past couple years they really solidified their sound and now they're solidifying solidifying like their real like identity as artists and i just I just love them. Who is this? Hello? Clemento? Say hello. Look how big he is, you guys. You guys, you gotta see how big he is. Do you see how big he is now? Look at Clemento. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Clemento. Look how big he is. He is a big boy. Hey, ah! <sighs> anyway. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, let's get started. <sighs> so unbothered. E yeah. Clemmy and Junie could be siblings. Yeah. And he's not even full grown. Like, he's, he's like, just now going to, in, in a few weeks, he's going to be one. Anyway, let's continue. I miss he, oh he has zoomies oh he has zoomies anyway okay girl i'm about to start girl I'm about to start my sister is here girl cheers girl cheers come back come back <laughs> oh, i'm gonna cry i'll be back okay girl girl i'll see you after <clears throat> No one like you, Hong Joon. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. No, okay. I'm not ready. Can you tell I'm stalling? Can you tell? I don't know. Just talking to Hong Joon in person like changed my life. On talking to Hong Joon changed my life. What's happening? What is happening? Oh my god, the babies are going crazy. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Can you guys hear? 
Oh my god, I need to wear my headphones. Oh my god, wait, I have to pause the recording. I have to wear my headphones. What am I doing? Okay, we're ready. Moonbox is on. And um, why do you love Hongjoong? Okay, so first of all, I love Hongjoong because he loves a teeny. And second of all, I also love Hongjoong because he's my captain. Third of all, he is the demon. Like, he's leader demon, captain demon. Fourth of all, I love Hongjoon because he can play the fucking guitar. Seventh of all, he is so delicious looking. Anyway. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did he write this? Is he playing the guitar here? Is he act? Is he actually play? Is, is that him or do we do we, do we, do we not know? Do we not know? What the None, I need, wait, oh my god, his soft vocals were getting, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's Balm, one of Edenary. Oh. Ah! Oops. I'm sorry. Oops. Fuck. Hey, stop you. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Here, sister. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, three of you guys sent bits. Oh my god, Nettie, Bocci, and Mir. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm hey, so stop you. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I, I understand. I'm so sorry. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are screaming at me this whole time. I'm sorry. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Why do you love... This? Why do I love? Why do I love? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's just listen. Oh no, it's so. Why do you love? Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I just need to make sure it's loud and clear in my ears. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need me out. <gasps> if you want love, no fun else. Is this him? I don't know why he sounds so different to me. Is this actually him? Oh, I'm in love. You can't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you love?
you watch that, Christy? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that harmony. Okay, wait, okay, wait. Are you fucking kidding me? He's literally, you know how he's always like 18 y? Like, 18 y? Oh my god. You know what? You know what? Hongju? Hongju? Did I not say that Hongjung is the reason why I breathe? But seriously, like, I noticed Hongjung the instant I even knew who fucking ATs was. <laughs> Wait, is he? Is he really singing? Is this him? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. This is so beautiful. Who drew this? He knows. He fucking knows. Like, I literally- Oh my god. Sylvia and I are the same. Sylvia's like this too. Sylvia also had a very Delulu dream. But like, the obsession that we have with Hongjung right now, like, there's no one else but you, Hongjung. There's no one else but you, Hongjung. The sky fell down. The sky. Okay, this is my favorite song. Oh no, this part. Oh my god, oh no! <laughs> During our send off, he literally wore a white shirt like this. Oh my god, oh no, bitch. You know what's fucking funny? When we opened Golden Hour, Sylvie and I both didn't get him. I need up. Okay, the. Da, da, da. Oh! I know he's a Slytherin ass too. He is a fucking Slytherin. I can tell. Like he's so fucking charismatic. He, he can. Uh, he and the fact that he is this fucking lovable yet has a demon side. He's. I know a Slytherin when I see one. I fucking literally. <gasps> Page. 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 Oh my god. Ah! 
I can't get over when this beat cut. Oh my god. See? Like, he see, like, everyone thinks he's so, like, sweet and soft and, like, and, like, so cute. But then when that beat drops, that's when you know, like, he's so fucking serious. Oh my god, and you know what's so fucking amazing about Hong Jung? Like, he does a lot of the ad libs. I didn't even realize because until, like, I saw these, like, on a wolf first, I didn't, uh, you can't really notice when you're in the concert. But, like, especially, like, was it bouncy? He's the one doing a lot of the fucking ad Oh my god. Oh, no, Hong Jung is everything. If uh, if you don't know Kim Hong Jung or you don't stand 80s and Hong Jung, like, you, you, I, I honestly, okay, I will feel so bad. You, you don't understand. He, like, he, he is so, like, so fucking special. I think he's officially my AT's alt. I'm not just saying this, like he like he's the reason why anything happens in this universe. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Is Hong Jung coming out with the fucking vinyl? Like, huh? Oh my god! I can <laughs> like Hong Jung, Kim Hong Jung, Kim Hong Jung. Oh my God! The way that this song, you always get the unexpected with Hong Jung, but it's not just that it's unexpected. Every switch up here is so genius, and it's but it sounds so good, like. Like it, just eighty songs in general, but also but with Hong Jung, I love how he keeps you on your toes here. Like the whole message of the song, like why do you love him? Like why isn't it me? Like like how like it sh like it should be me, and then he keeps you on your toes. Like there's like just like his fucking tattoo that says no one like me. Th it this song, it's literally that. In the way that you never will guess, but it's every single piece and switch up of this song is so good. I don't. I... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. He's singing in falsetto, and then he switches to this like, and his attitude here is like, uh, like, just his attitude on this song, because it makes you question, why isn't it anyone but you? If it is, it, it, it's still that way, because it's it's only Hongju. He proves again and again. Like, you know, if you fucking have a phrase and a fucking tattoo that says no one like me and like, you better not be some like corny ass, like, like just someone who will want to be. Hongjung is, is so clearly one of a kind and the talent and like the, the artistry and the individualism of Hong I, I just, I, I literally... I fucking met him. He smiled at me. He laughed at me. He lit... Like, it doesn't feel real. Uh, that is the buzzer. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know whether they're cry or just like poop my pants. I don't know what to do anymore. That when he goes low here, that is so hot. I. <laughs> He said he was like basically, you know, he said he's I was like trying to be patient, but I can't anymore. Like he was being he was nice. He doesn't want to be that nice. Oh my god. I'm sorry I'm still here now. Oh no, what is this on Not believe that's all Kim Hong Joo. I mean, I can, but like the the, the like is that all him? I'm sorry, I'm still here now. Oh, why do you laugh? Where is this? Is this? Where is this? Is this? Is this prank? Prank? <laughs> You know, um, I feel like people just don't know this side of him, especially, I mean, especially if you're not 18 e but they, they see him as a, like, the captain rapper, leader rapper, but, like, his vocals, his, he, he literally does Jungwoo's, like, fucking vocals sometimes. He literally does Jungwoo's vocals. In Paris, yeah. Like... You know, one of my favorite, um, 80s vlogs that I've ever seen is when he was in Paris um, for Ballman, the the show, and then Young showed up. It was that one, right? That was that's my comfort vlog, like log, like AT's log. That's literally my comfort. I don't know what it is about like just Hong Jung doing his thing. I, I don't know where the crier scream. I don't. I really don't know what what the crier scream. Is that a Chris? 
Is he wearing a crystal? Is he wearing a crystal? Is he? <laughs> okay, I belong to Hongju. From now, from today on, I mean, it was it was like this. It was a long time coming. I only belong to Hongjoon, okay? I literally only belong to Hongjoon. Oh, oh my, oh my god, Kim Wong, oh my god, Kim Wong Jung is... <sighs> I knew from day one he was my bias. I knew from day one. Like, the moment I, like, I think Aurora was the first song I added to my Spotify ever of 80s. Aurora was my first 80s song I ever added to my Spotify. And then I think it was Wave, and then I went backwards, and then I, and then it was Light. I think it was Aurora, Wave, and then Light. But Aurora... Only me. Oh my. G oh my god. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna have a meltdown. I love that he also recognizes the crazy in just in humanity in general. Without you, there's no. Oh my God! No He's literally seeing to eighteen. -y. There's no me. Why do you love? this part i fucking i can't watch that part anyway our captain hong jung you, so uh -huh. you got the captain hong jung 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 you know what i noticed that hong jung does did in like not just our send off but like whenever someone did like I saw this one TikTok of a girl that was clearly Korean and could speak Korean 
and he literally spoke to her in Korean and English, and he did the same to us. You didn't read it well today. Oh, you made some friends. Yeah, I was so I didn't know who. This is when he literally looked at me because I look like a crazy person. That th I'm fine with it. I'm fucking fine. I didn't know who. I didn't know who. I can't stand my fucking voice, by the way. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god, Minky's right there! Ah! What the fuck? Oh, anyway. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Minky Way. Uh, I'm finally getting to uh, Mingi's collab with Mira Mirani. I know who uh, Mirani is because I heard her. Uh, I know she's a rapper, and I've heard her on her collab with Moonbyar, and now she has a collab with Mingi. So she has the same taste as I do. Um, I love Mingi. Mingi. <laughs> Actually, so my try treats code is Christy and Jeff. Oh my god, I'm getting lightheaded. I need to play my flute or something. Um... What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, this song is called Hit Me- It's called Hit Me Up. You know what? I actually- I actually said the other stream that I unstan Mingi because he is acting up too much these days and I can't handle it because I'm not physically with him anymore. Do not play the flute. <laughs> but I did say that. But you know, I love Mingi. I have his jersey behind me. And I his signature is also right there. I don't know what okay, all right, let's just listen. I I have nothing to say. Um Mingi is going to hit me up after this, so we got to get the show on the road. So, let's go. But you were, you breathed in his air, so it was oxygen keeping you alive. Oh my god, Stacey, that, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Mingi is keeping me alive. That is, that is just beautiful. <laughs> but to cry. About oh, Minky Way, thank you for following. Okay, so that's me. Mirani, that's me. I might look a little bit different, um, but this was like months and months ago before my plastic surgery. So um, I know I look a little bit different. Don't be alarmed. But again, you know, I had to, you know. I did what I did. Korean, Korea has the best plastic surgeons in the world. So uh, this is me and Mingi's song, Hit Me Up, for the first words that Mingi um, ever uttered to me. Well, it wasn't the first words he ever uttered to me. Actually, it was because you guys think that the first words that he ever uttered to me was Anyang um, in that uh, send off clip. But um, first of all, he was acting like he didn't know me for the other 18 EVIP sake. But when we recorded this song is when we first, when we recorded this song in the studio together is when uh, we first met and um, he uh, he got kind of nervous he got a little bit shy he got nervous and then the first thing he said to me was hit me up and I was like uh, I was like um uh, it wasn't when we recorded we, we wrote the song together and then the first words he said he was like hit me up and I was like huh I was like oh my god we should write a song called hit me up because that's really cute that's like like you nervously said that to me um, first so like. We decided to create a song together called Hit Me Up. And this is the results of that. And like I said, I look a little bit different, but you know.
cute. Look how cute we are. Look how cute we are. This is really cute. Oh my god, see? Like, this is like the perfect song for us. This is why we did it. <sighs> I sound so good. I sound so good. <laughs> Does his shirt say solar? His shirt says solar? What is happening? Huh? Huh? We were just interrupted. We had this long conversation on Twitch, but we are back now. And um, I just, I'm going to take this off, but um, <laughs> I'm covering up my boyfriend with my boyfriend's shirt. I'm wearing my boyfriend's PJs and I have my boyfriend's shirt. Okay, anyway. Ah! Okay, so, um, I, yes. If you guys didn't know, I got, um, ATs to sign my jersey and Tong Mingi is in the back. So, actually, I am going to take this off because, uh, I can't get this messed up, you guys. You guys, I can't, I need to do something with this. I have to have this up here. But, yes, Tong Mingi's jersey that he touched, he told me, he personally told me that he loved it. And I have the video to prove it. But Tong Mingi is right here. So anyway. <clears throat> um, also, who's Mingi? Am I right? Have you been recording this whole time? No, I haven't. All right, we're going to continue with the song. So, me and Mingi's song, I know I already saw a part of it, but um, Mingi just said, do you want it or want me or something? Is that... This is a very cute song, by the way. I wrote it. And, if you guys didn't know, I go by Mirani. That's my stage name. Surprise. My stage name is Mirani. So now you know. I had a collab with Mundyar and now I had a collab. I have a feature with Mingi. And yeah, life is good. And his solar shirt. Oh my god, he has a solar shirt. That's really fucking weird. That's really, really weird. <clears throat> I think you should steal a mannequin from the mall for your jersey. Oh my god, that is a great idea, Brie B. If I get arrested, this is all your fault, and I'm taking you down with me. But that's a great idea. Okay, let's continue. Oh my god, wait. My headphones. Why isn't this playing? Holy shit, is that loud or what? Is that really loud for you guys? Oh my god, is that super loud for you guys? Why was that so loud? He looks so cute! Is he wearing a crystal 
heart necklace? What? What is that? Is he wearing a crystal around his neck? I wrote that line. Yo, this is cute. He's playing with the flower. I love her voice. I mean, my voice. My favorite thing is when Mingi song sings. Like I can't with his solar shirt. I know I need that. I need that shirt. That sounds so fucking good with his bassy voice. Oh my god, I should have fucking had a You know one thing I regret from the concert is that I didn't bring a sign because they were they were just super responsive to all the posters that people brought and of course Sylvia and I of course we had fucking barricade but we didn't bring a sign because we didn't want to hold too much stuff because we already had so much. But like, if I had a sign that said, I mean, people already had a sign that said, hit me up. They like fucking, oh my God. They like literally took my words. Oh my god, he's like, hit me up, hit me up. You and Mingy are so cute in this video. Yo, I have a question. You know his um his uh, LP, like. Does anyone know? I know they announced it and they announced it as his vinyl, right? Like, is it a, isn't an LP supposed to be like a longer album? And I know that like, I know it's releasing with like Tunnel and um, Untitled. But is there going to be more? Like, It's vinyl only, and he's got unreleased tracks on it. It's vinyl only? Oh my god, I need to get, like, a record player. I don't have one right now, but, like, I've been looking into record players. If you guys, in the Christy Live channel, if you, if any of you guys have a record player and have, like, recommendations on brands and stuff, because I will buy a record player just for this vinyl. Um, 
And also, like, is it in pre-order right now? I haven't ordered it or anything, but like, um, yeah, because I'm gonna cry. So if you say there's unreleased tracks, are there tracks that we haven't heard, or is it just the tracks that that are unreleased? Or Vortex is on there too, the one that he performed at the concert, right? I thought there was only four. Oh, there's only four songs. So Vortex is the only one that we haven't heard in Fullity. Fullity? Am I do? Do I just make up words now? Oh, I'm gonna cry. Full I see. Shut up. <laughs> He's so cute. I know Mingi is the type to play hard to get. Like, he is so that type. Mingi is the type to play hard to get. But then, but then, I know that he, like, he eventually, he folds. I know, I know him. I know him. I mean, I literally met him. I, like, I, I know him. I mean, we have a fucking song together. I fucking know him. So you're so he's singing like really softly and prettily. Oh my god, like sh she's standing on a stool or something. <laughs> I mean, I am. <laughs> This is the cutest thing I've ever seen, but why do I feel kind of like, why do I feel some rage? No, no, what? You know when I was talking to him at send off? This is the this is the same look that he gave me at send off. You know like you know I talked about this before, but like I decided I was going back and forth, but I decided to talk to ATs and especially Minky in Panmar. And that's like the informal. And some people like, I mean, but they do it with AT all the time. I think it, I, I did it because I thought it was cute. And I talked to him in Panmar and he immediately, when I was like, oh, Minky, Anyang, he literally goes, Anyang, he was acting so cute. And then like, like, I know right after he asked me, why are you so good at Korean? I know he was about to be like, oh, no, owner more. I know he was about to ask me that, but then he got distracted and he remembered that um, there's other 18 around. So like, I he was literally about to say that. So instead, he put this in the song. And...
And what would you have said? What would I have said if he actually finished his sentence? I would have said. I said, I would have said, hit me up and you'll find out. That's a horrible answer. Oh my god, I literally cannot. I need that as like a ringtone. He actually was the one to go over to her window. Ew, this is the cutest thing. Because he says, like, he was, he, Mingi, it literally acts tough and comes off so intimidating and tough, but he's not. And he literally says in his lines, oh, like, oh, should I, like, should I send this text? Like, should I play hard to get? But then he's the one that literally goes over there. And it's just, honestly, this song is so cute. Like, you know when you're playing that game in the beginning? And you're just, like, going back and forth. And uh, <laughs> it's the Leo in him. You know, no, literally. Like, he, you know Mingi loves attention and all of this stuff. But you also know that Mingi is such a sweetie, softie. I mean, his fucking nickname is Princess Mingi. Like... But he goes over to her. I mean, me. <sighs> Is this live? I just realized they're holding mics. Oh my god. Can somebody please, if you do this, I swear you will get like like the next like five requests. No, not, not in this stream, but in a future one. Can somebody please put like, can somebody please put me, like put my new plastic surgery face, like my face now on my former body, please. Can you, can you, can someone do this and put it in Christy Live? If you do this, I literally, please. Okay. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, God, his voice hit me up.
him me up. Why is he being so cute? Oh no! <laughs> Don't you guys prefer my new face over my old face? Okay, I'm just kidding. O okay, honestly, I'm really just kidding. Mirani is like really fucking cute and she's an amazing rapper. And now I know that she can really sing. And her, I, I guess her voice compliments Mingi well as well. <laughs> Hit me up. Mingi, you're so cute. <laughs> I love her voice though. Like she's like she's so adorable. And I love that he um I don't I don't know how this collab even happened, but um I mean besides the Delulu version, but the other version is like 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 how did this even happen? Because like Mirani, I mean I don't know much about her, but I know that she's so cute and like she's a I love her voice. Like her deeper tone. I love like girls in general that have like deeper tone voices and she, and like her voice compliments Mingi so well. And they're so cute. And isn't she Nuna? Like I'm Nuna to him too. Like basically we're the same person. So basically it basically basically what it comes down to is it is me and Mingi. If this is getting too Delulu for you, I don't care. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I believe they were friends or they knew each Oh really? They were friends already? Oh my god. <laughs> So cute. She's she's honestly so cute. Ooh, Mirani Bad Boy featuring Big Naughty. What the fuck? This was so fucking cute. Going back and forth. I need to hear his verse. His rings. said no no more I want to kill myself I'm about to jump out this fucking window <laughs> he has a very long pinky anyway i've said this before i have another advice to give you guys don't ever meet your alt because once you do the delulu gets 
even worse.